everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and this is the last video of 2021, although technically this will go up on the 1st of 2022. Let's get into the best lip products of 2021. Now, I know it's technically no longer the holidays. Um, <laughs> New Year's has gone by, Christmas has gone by, Hanukkah's gone by. But I figured I had the last uh, headpiece that I had to wear. I didn't wear a headpiece in my vlog that I did for Christmas Day, because I don't know, that just seemed, because I was vlogging, so I didn't do it that day. But um, this is the last giveaway of the Feisty Festivus and the last video of the Feisty Festivus. Uh, today we're giving away, or I'm giving away, the Tom Ford Nude Dip Quad. This is one of the best, guys. It's a really good quad. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel and put a comment down below. As I've said many, many times, don't put your actual ID or uh, email. For some reason, YouTube gets rid of comments that have that. So just put the name. So like just Al Feisty, and then I'll know that's IG. If you're not on IG, just let me know if you're not on Instagram and I'll, uh, I'll contact you through the community page and also in the video that goes up after I announce the winner. Okay, so I thought this was going to be like a pretty brief video because I was like, oh, it was lip products and I didn't get that many lip products this year. That's not really true. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's a lie. Um, I actually have a lot of lip products that I fell in love with this year. Uh, so <laughs> I obviously surprised myself. Uh, and I'm going to end the lip product that's on my lips. And if any of you are watching me uh, continuously, then you know what this lip product products are, but we'll save it for last. All right, let's start with lip liners. Um, my, well, actually, no, let's not start with lip liners. No, yeah, let's start with lip liners. It kind of gives it away, but we'll start with lip liners. Okay, so there's only two this year that I think were worth um, talking about, and the first are the BK Beauty liners. These are excellent, excellent liners. The one that I wear most often, I think it's called... Let me get the name, because I never get the names of these things. You know me, I'm always like, oh, that one. It's not helpful to any of you. Um, Warm Spice. And what I like about these, and I did a whole video dedicated, um, I like the shape of them. They have this like rounded shape, but at an angle. So they're really good on the lip. They go and they have this like, so it's slanted like this. So you just pull it up and you just kind of go right around the outside of your lip with it and it just works perfectly. The shades are all good shades. There's this Warm Spice, which is like a brownie shade. You know, I'm gonna like that. Um, there's Sweet Pink, which is a good shade if you like, you know, just like a true, like rosy pink. That's the pink shade. Um, then there's Pink Lady. I really hope that Lisa comes out with more of these because I really like these and I would like more shades. <laughs> this is like a pinkier, almost magenta type shade. There's this deep shade, um, Alter Ego. It's like almost, it's like, it's like a, it's red, but it has like a little bit of brown to it. It's really good. And then the Warm Spice that I was talking about is the one that I wear most often, which is not a shock, again, to anybody who watches my channel. It's right up my alley. But, um, I love these. I think they go on beautifully. The formula is great. They last. Reasonable price point. Just excellent. Just all around excellent. Um, and I'm really, I really hope Lisa makes more. They're excellent. Really, really good. Um, and then the other liners are the Lisa Eldridge liners. Uh, I have Cinnabar on today. And I have, I mean, I have all her liners. I'm like pull, pulling out liners. So it, whatever shade that you like. Um, they're all good. Cinnabar was the standout color to, for me this year. Um, when I look at all the shades that she came out with, there's a lot of great ones, but, but Cinnabar was the one that, that called to me. Affair is also excellent. Um, Affair is more of what like the Warm Spice is. It's a little lighter than that. And I'll show you these two. That's Affair. That's Cinnabar. That's what I have on now for liner. The Lisa Eldridge lip products are all top of class. All of them. The mattes, the velvet lipsticks, I should say, I'm sorry, the liners, the lip glosses, they're all going to be on my top list. They're fantastic. Her other products are hit or miss, in my opinion. Some are good, some are okay. Um, and that is, you know, a difference of opinion. But I've yet to meet someone who tries Lisa Eldridge lip products and doesn't 
absolutely love them. So I would say those are the only two liners this year that really stand out to me. I have tried the Makeup by Mario Lip Suede liners, but only recently, like very recently, and I do like them. Um, uh, Daniel, and I can never remember the other shade I have, I'd like to get more and try them more to get a better like feel for them, but I do think they're good. So those might be something that would be like an honorable mention kind of thing for this year. Uh, because I don't want to leave them out entirely because I am enjoying them. I just haven't used them long enough to really say that they belong on the best of list. Uh, all right, so next let's do, let's do matte lipsticks because there's one. As you all know, I don't wear matte lipsticks. If you watch my channel, like I just don't. I don't wear matte lipsticks. They don't work for me. However, there seems to be one uh, exclusion to this list. This is the Killian Matte Lip Liquid Lip. And first of all, there's two reasons that I absolutely love this. One, it smells just like love perfume, which is one of my favorite perfumes on the planet. Seriously. Um, and two, these are actually very comfortable. Now, I only have um, this shade, and this is sh shade Rose Cruel, and I definitely want to get more. And I hope they make more shades, because if I remember correctly, there weren't that many shades. There was like four or five shades. So this is Rose Cruel. It's very comfortable on for a matte, long-lasting lipstick. I'm not going to tell you that it's a moisturizing lipstick, because it's not. <laughs> but if you are looking for a matte, long wear lipstick, um, that one is it's the best I've seen. Um, it really is very comfortable for what it is, and I'm able to wear it, which is saying a lot, because my lips are very, very dry. Um, the smell alone is intoxicating. Like, seriously, it's, mm, it smells so good. Uh, but yeah, I can actually wear it and I do like it. So I need to try more shades. Um, but I really, I think it's very, very good. Okay. Um, let's see. The next, I would say, are like lip balms. Um, they're not even like lipsticks. They're just like a balmy thing that comes off pretty easily. Um, and the two that I would say that I really, really am enjoying, one is the Yves Saint Laurent, and this is in Burnt Zalegue. I just mentioned this. This is like one of their um, Volup Shine oils. It's really light, like the coverage is really light. Um, it's a really beautiful color, but it really is like a, a lip oil, a lip balm. It comes off really quickly. It does not stay on your lips, but it stays on longer than you might think. Like it sort of stains, which I like. Um, so I really like that product and I specifically like that color. It smells exactly like Jolly Ranchers to me. I can't wait for the ones, the candy glaze ones that are coming out. Uh, I believe they're coming out in January. So like tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, they do look really cool and I'm definitely going to pick them up. Next are these by Terry balms. And these are, um, I forget what exactly the name. Let's see. They are, they are hyaluronic hydro balms, uh, balms, <laughs> balms, balms. And, um, I have them in four, three, and five. Um, three is tea time. Four is dare to bear five. I forgot the name of it. It's the one I wear most of the time. It has more like a brownie. It's a deeper shade. Um, and these again are, they're balms. They're, you know, really, they're really like the uh, Volup Shine almost. And they're really great though. They're very comfortable. I wear them all the time. I keep them in my purse. They're perfect for that like no makeup, makeup look kind of thing. If you're just looking for like a shiny lip and you just want something moisturizing. Uh, they don't deposit a ton of color, but they pop, it's enough. Um, and they're just comfortable on the lips and I, I really, really like them. I think they're, I think they're great. Like I just find them to be like the perfect mix of what I want in a lip product. Um, especially now with masks, I don't really wear these things. Like I don't wear lip products very often because I go out and the mask totally destroys it. So I wear them on my zoom calls and they're perfect for that because they're comfortable. They show a little bit of color, but they're not, you know, overpowering. So absolutely love those. All right, next we'll move up to like what I think is the next step up from like a lip balm kind of thing or lip oil. One is the BK Beauty. These are the BK Beauty lips. Um, in my giveaway that I did the other day um, for face products, BK Beauty was kind enough to work with me, to collab with me, I guess, if you will, uh, and uh, sent uh, my favorite brushes and one of the lipsticks um, in the gift. Just such, these are really good. Um, 
they are they are lipsticks and they have full coverage but they are incredibly moisturizing and dewy and balmy so um they're not like a traditional satin lipstick to me because they have more moisturizer they feel like they're more moisturizing than others um they do come off like on a mask they're not gonna they're not gonna last for a mask but they're really good <laughs> And they're all like good everyday colors, like the whole line. I would recommend every single shade. The one that's in the giveaway is Kindness, which is like a neutral pink. Um, but anyway, I hope she comes up with more of those too because they're phenomenal. All right, next are the Chantecais. These are the ones that came out for spring. Um, there's a bunch of new ones for this year. Pretty much any Chantecai lip chic I'm going to love. Um, and these, these are, let's see... We've got Peach Blossom, Clover, and Hysop. Hysop is my favorite, so that's the one I'm going to show you today. I just love the shade. It's just, it's just really easy to wear, you know, and it's a little bit like the, um, the balms from uh, by Terry, the number five, which I, can't, I don't have in front of me right now, but it's a very similar shade. It's just a beautiful shade. It works for, like, everybody. It's cool tone, so if you don't like cool tone, then, you know, it won't be for you, but... It's just, they're so easy to wear, the lip cheeks. They're just, they're enough coverage, but not too much. They're shiny, but not too much. I I swear by the lip cheeks, and the lip veils for that matter, but all these products that came out this year from Chantecai are at the top, top of my list. They're just, I couldn't just pick one shade because they're all phenomenal, but High Sop is probably my favorite for this year. Then we have the Rouge Coco Blooms from Chanel. This is 112 and Opportunity. This is probably my favorite of the shades that came out. I actually did a video in shorts about like all the different shades. And these are similar to the um, lip cheeks from Chantecaille. You can see the formula is even similar in the way that it, it distributes the color. They're just like rich, moisturizing kinds of shades. Um, their Opportunity is like a so it's brownier than, than the um, high sop, but it's just a gorgeous color. It, it gives you like the right amount, I think, of pigment. It's shiny, it's comfortable. I love all the blooms, they're all good. Um, I have literally, let's see, I have 110, this is 112, I have 116, 118, 134, and 158. <laughs> so I have a lot of them. I think they're all good. They don't have a tremendous amount of color and pigment. So, you know, just kind of pick a shade that you like the most. Like I said, I picked this one. Opportunity is my favorite for the year, but I like the whole line. And I think the Rouge Coco Blooms are excellent. They stain a little bit, like I mentioned um, with the others, um, with the, uh, the E. Saint Laurent. It stains a little bit, so you have some color left behind. I really like them. I think they're great, and I really love the formula. I hope Chanel comes out with more of those. Okay, we're getting we're getting down there. Gloss. So my two favorite glosses. One is going to be obvious, uh, and I'll say it in a second. The first is the Tom Ford Sunless Lip. This came out of nowhere. <laughs> like this came out with the black sand that I mentioned in my favorite eye products and it's just a gorgeous gloss I mean it's just stunning I, I think it was on sale the other day I think I might have mentioned it it's just a beautiful peach it goes peachy on me it's a gloss so you know there's not a lot of color there but I think it really works on a lot of different people because I've seen very different skin tones very different undertones use it and it looks different on everybody so it's just a beautiful gloss I bought a backup that's how much I like it. I don't usually do that. Because uh, usually I'm like, well, it's makeup, you know, I, I can always find something else. But this one's pretty unusual. I I really like this, the way it turns to like a peach but still has some shine. It's like one of the few things Tom Ford did right <laughs> this year. I don't mean pick it on Tom Ford, but yeah. Anyway. Okay. And the other gloss, of course, is the Lisa Eldridge. Um, and I'll show you all the Lisa Eldridge products at, uh, at the end because you've probably figured out that's that's where I'm going. But um, the shade, you know, Affair is a beautiful gloss shade that anybody, I think, like anyone can use. Dragon is gorgeous. It's like this orangey red. Um, Cinnabar is beautiful. It's the, the color that I have on now. I'll pull out. This is Dragon. It's a gorgeous, like, orangey red. Um... 
This is blush, this is gorgeous blush shade. Now not, not all of these um, came out this year, but they were re, uh, restocked this year. Some of them are new shades, like Cinnabar is new, which is why I've been focusing on Cinnabar. And some of these shades were out last year, but they came back this year. Um, all of them are beautiful though. I don't wanna pick out just one shade because they're just all really, <laughs> they're all really nice. Um, and I, you know, I look forward every time to her, her new, releases. So this is the Cinnabar gloss and like the Cinnabar liner and uh, the lipstick, which we'll talk about in a minute. It's just a beautiful shade. It's deep, but it's like this, I don't know, burnt red shade that you just don't see very often. It's unusual. Um, so I really like that one. And I'll put a little bit on top of this just to, so you guys can see it. It's just a beautiful gloss. It's just absolutely stunning. All her glosses are amazing. What I would say as like regular lipsticks, um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury. It came out like, I think around, I think it was like Valentine's Day. I'm not absolutely sure anymore. This was Nude Romance. And she came out with like a bunch of shades that kind of sounded similar to each other this year. And Nude Romance is like one of my favorites. It's a really pretty shade. It's just really, really nice. Um, and it's full coverage lipstick. It looks really good on, um, you know, it's a brownie pink, <laughs> right up my alley. And I don't know if this is still available. I, I, I think it was a limited edition, but if it is still available, I would certainly recommend picking it up if you like that brownie pink thing. Um, it's just got like little, uh, you know, crystals in the, in the bullet. It's just really pretty. It just looks really good on. I don't know what else to say. Super Nude is the other one. I think it's Super Nude. I'll, I'll put down below if it was another name that I really liked. I think both of them were extremely good. One is more of a matte and one is more of like, you know, satin, but beautiful shades and they just work really, really well. Next is what I would say like a powerhouse lipstick. And I really haven't talked about this yet because although I've had them, I haven't had a chance to, to show them on the channel. I will, I promise, I will. This is um, 202, this is the Giorgio Armani. I think it's Power, I'll, have to put, I'll look up the name really quick. That's the shade, this is the 202 shade. It's really, really nice. And these, yeah, Lip Power, they are amazing lipsticks. I need to get more shades. I have three shades and I want to buy more. These are really good lipsticks. One, I love the shape, the teardrop shape. It's just perfect for putting on your lip. Um, and two, they pack a lot of punch. Like they're, there's a lot of pigment there and they actually stay on like pretty well. Now they're a lipstick. You put a mask on, they're going to transfer to the mask, but they stay on. Like my lips, my lips are dry and they tend to like eat lipstick. I'm not exactly sure how it happens, but, but not with the Armani's. They, it looks really good. So I'll, I'll be featuring them in upcoming videos. Um, Cause like I said, I, I have three shades that I picked up, but I just never had a chance to do it on the channel before the end of the year. Uh, and you'll see, they're just, they're really good products. So I'm definitely gonna pick up more of those. And then before we get to the final final, we're gonna talk about Givenchy. Givenchy has these metal, these uh, velvet packaging. These are two of my favorites for the year. This is a sheer matte. And then this is, a La Rouge. Now this is in Copper Nude. This was for the holiday and it's like the perfect shade for me. That's Copper Nude. It's very similar to, you can see, like to many of the other shades I have. I have a preference as you could probably tell. Um, but this is a gorgeous, just stunning lipstick. Um, it's a, a satiny feel to it. Um, the packaging is just outstanding because I mean, look at that the black velvet and it's just, it's perfect. Um, and it just looks really good on and feels good. And I really was impressed with Givenchy this year. I mentioned it in some of my other videos. I think they've done a really good job. And I am not a huge Givenchy uh, devotee. Like I don't have a ton of their makeup and I'm definitely putting them on higher on the list for 2022 because I've been so impressed with everything in 2021. It's a brand I want to sort of expand. Um, so really impressed with that. And in that vein, this is the sheer velvet lipstick. Um, this one is nude. It's 18. And I love this shade. It's a really good shade. And I love the formula, which is surprising for me 
because it's a matte, but you know, well, it's a velvet, but it's a sheer velvet. And it's still, even though it's quote sheer, it still has a ton of pigment. And it feels really comfortable on. It's just, it's just a stunning, stunning shade. And the packaging, again, I think they've knocked it out of the park with this like velvet kind of like bullet and you've got the little, you know, the little uh, uh, Givenchy emblem there. It's just, it, that's just beautiful. And I think that's what you need in, in luxury makeup. The product has to just be phenomenal and the packaging has to match because you're paying a large price point for these things. And it can't just be a slapdash, oh, we just put this stuff out. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're, if you're charging what you're charging at a luxury market, you have to meet those demands. And I think Givenchy has done a great job with that this year. And I really love those products. Now last, of course, and I mean, anyway, <laughs> you all know who it is. It's Lisa Eldridge and her velvet lipsticks. Now, like I said, this is Cinnabar that I have on my lips so you can see the shade. It's my favorite of the ones that came out this year, the new shades. It's just, I mean, it's a beautiful shade. I've seen this on a lot of people and everyone looks good in it. I have a lot, I have a lot of, um, of her lipsticks, her velvet lipsticks, and I think they're all good. Affair uh, did come out before, it's a beautiful shade. Cinnabar is my favorite of the new ones. Um, I'd say, Maybe the other one that would be my favorite would be, let me see, but probably Fawn. Um, Fawn is a very light shade. It kind of looks, it's right there, it kind of looks a little bit like the nude in the um, Givenchy Sheer Matte, Sheer Velvet. Can you see I like this a little bit similar? Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful shade. I do really like this one. So, but Cinnabar, uh, if I had to pick just one product, like to end this year, to end this video, Cinnabar is my favorite. I just think she really does an amazing job with her lip products. And the liner is perfect. The lips, the velvet lipstick is perfect. The gloss is perfect. Cinnabar is just a great shade for everyone. I'm very pale. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, I'm very pale and I can wear this color and people who are much deeper skin tones than I can, can wear this color. And that's true of many of her shades. Like her lipsticks work on a large variety of people, which is phenomenal. And the, the formula is excellent. These velvet lipsticks are, were way ahead of everyone else. She was on, the, she was making these long before Givenchy came out with velvets and Dior came out with velvets, Chanel came out with velvets. She really just has done a phenomenal job with that formula and I love it. It's one of the few matte-like formulas that I even wear. So I just, just a huge fan. And I'm a huge fan of Lisa Eldridge anyway. If you've watched my channel, you know that. So you know, this was not a huge shock, I don't think. Um, but her products are really, the lip products are really good. The liners are some of my favorite. The lip glosses are really good. They're pigmented, but not too much. They, you know, they go on easily. And these lip velvets, they're just excellent. And if you want something that's gonna stay, that you know you can wear all day and feel pretty comfortable in, these are the ones. Now I will say, these are not non-transferable. So if you put this on, you put a mask on, it's gonna come off on your mask. It's not like a liquid lip um, that you know doesn't come off at all, like the Chanel Tenues. It's not like that. But it is a, a more matte-like velvet, more matte-like formula that is very long-lasting. And what I've found is when I've worn it, like the um, Fawn, for example, I can put my mask on. It does come off on the mask, but it's a lighter shade, so it's not that big of a deal. And what I do, I put it on and I blot it. I blot my lips and then I put a mask on and there's very little transfer and it lasts a really long time. The gloss is obviously transfer, so no doubt about that. But Again, I'm mostly wearing lip products on camera for you guys and for work. I'm generally not really wearing them out because everywhere that I am, I'm outside of Boston, we all have to wear masks and um, they're just, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense because nobody sees this part of my face. Uh, so yeah, so you know. So as I said, this is the last video of 2021. Um, and as I said in my, my Christmas video, I just wanna say, even though this is taking place on the first day of 2022. It's about right for my life right now. I just wanna say how much I really enjoyed this channel and all of you for the last year. It hasn't been um, the best year for me 
And I know a lot of you out there have had, you know, a rough year as well. Um, let's, let's face it, a rough two years. Actually, my channel started when COVID started here in the U.S., literally March, uh, the beginning of March, and we basically went into lockdown, you know, like a week after my channel started. And so I, it's been, you know, for all of us, just a difficult couple of years. And, you know, I don't know how I would be and how things would be if without, you know, the interaction with all of you and getting to know all of you. And I've made some wonderful friends. And that just means more to me than anything. I just, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate all of you. And I hope that these giveaways have, you know, done a little bit to give back to all of you for what you've given me this year and the year before. Um, and I will have the 5,000 subscriber giveaway coming up soon. Um, I'm not that far away. So I'd say, you know, maybe by my two year mark, that's my goal. My two year mark is March. So if I can get 5,000 subscribers by March, that would be awesome. I would love that. So please, if you feel uh, if you feel so inclined to share my channel with others, I, I greatly appreciate that. And uh, we'll do the 5,000 subscriber giveaway at that point. Um, this, the 5,000 subscriber giveaway is going to have a, a surprise in it. Um, I've, I've done some pictures and I'm going to do some more. But there's one item that's going to be part of that that's going to be a big surprise. And... Uh, You'll, you'll be excited. I, I would be excited. I am excited. Uh, but anyway, uh, so that, that'll be coming up probably March, I would guess, uh, somewhere around there. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, okay, guys. I think that's it. Last video of 2021. Here's to an amazing 2022 for all of us. And uh, yeah. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.